The golden langur is one of India's most endangered primates. Communities are our most powerful allies in protecting the golden langur and its habitat of 300,000 hectares. The Golden Langer Conservation Project began in 1998 in Assam, one of the seven sister states connected to mainland India by a thread of land 50 miles wide. At the base of the Himalayan mountains, the project is set in the Brahmaputra River Valley, where militants in the forest and ethnic violence has resulted in 50% deforestation in the past 20 years and 250,000 internal refugees on the border of the reserve forests. At the confluence of the Indo-Gangetic and Indo-Malayan regions, Assam has high biodiversity, sharing the flora and fauna with India and Southeast Asia. The golden langur Trachopithecus gi, discovered as a new species as late as 1950, had an estimated population of 1,500 langurs in 1998. The golden langur occurs in lowland evergreen and semi-evergreen deciduous forests and sow forests. Langurs have a saculated stomach to help digest their main diet of leaves, but they also eat fruits and flowers. Golden langurs live in social groups often with a single dominant male. A golden langur's limited range includes western Assam and Bhutan, bounded on the west by the Sankash River, to the north by the mountains of Bhutan, to the east by the Manas River, and to the south by the Brahmaputra River. The golden langur range used to include the entire area of this map. Red represented the range in 1970, yellow in 1990, and the green is the current range today. These forests have experienced deforestation at an alarming rate in the last 20 years. Political turmoil led to the breakdown of the Assam Forest Department's authority, resulting in consequent log smuggling. Bodos, the main indigenous people historically allied with Tibetan culture, maintain an active language and culture. They share a Assam forest with other groups such as other tribes, non-tribal Assamese, Nepali immigrants, and Santals who were translocated by the British to Assam as tea laborers. A well-run Bodo household is almost sustainable in its food production and may sustain its weaving culture through the rearing of silkworm larvae for silk production. In addition, cultural dances are practiced by many of the women and girls accompanied by the traditional Bodo music played on the sirka and other instruments. With pressure from immigrants, two Bodo militant groups pushed for an autonomous region creating a complex political situation which led to ethnic violence with villagers fleeing from their forest homes to refugee camps at the base of the Manas Biosphere Reserve and lack of government control of the forests. This has led to wholesale cutting and selling of the forest for timber and firewood. Almost 50% of forests have been depleted. Catalyzing and empowering communities to protect their environment has been community conservation's approach, resulting in a powerful conservation method in which people are the solution to environmental degradation and the loss of biodiversity. In Assam, working with NGO and community groups, we began with a series of visits and meetings in the more than 100 villages in the Golden Langer Range. We are so many humans but only a few golden langurs. Golden langurs need friends like we, like you, so they can live. Ami iman manu asu. Ami hazare vidar manu. We informed the villagers of the uniqueness of their forests and wildlife, emphasizing the golden langur and its rare status. We need to 
find a way of balance to use the forest but still keep it going. We then asked for their help, noting that we and government could not do it without them. That was the first step in community empowerment. So we have created a, a plan which we wish to bring to the forestry department. But we need your help. We initially involved them in conservation activities such as tree planting and reforestation. Later, we helped the villagers improve their livelihoods with self-help groups resulting in micro-industries such as farming, livestock rearing, and weaving. First self-help group here. Deep Narayan Rai is the president uh -huh. of this self-help group. Their group name is uh, Sarakola Sara Sara Mohila Self-Help Group. She is Deema Rai, president. Uh -huh. We also train villagers in research and censusing the language. We carried out research just like you are doing. Ex-Army volunteers trained the Community Forest Protection Forces in discipline. Forest protection techniques and patrolling. Seminars on community conservation brought the communities, NGOs, and government agencies to focus on conservation of the golden langur and forests. This is not a problem of this area only. This is a global problem. In the last 20 years, we have seen extensive deforestation in our area. And why is deforestation took place? These are the things that we have to see back. These are the things that we have to discuss among ourselves and formulate some regulation, find out some policy and implement it. The attitude of our society, the economic problem of our society, these all things should be taken into consideration. Maximum participation of our people, it should be the target. Unless we can breathe, this mission will not be successful. In 2003, militants signed an accord and ceasefire with the central government, forming the Bodo Land Territorial Council to administer much of the Golden Langer forests. Over time, more community groups formed and conservation became contagious. The Golden Langer Conservation Project stimulated four community-managed celebrations across the Manaus biosphere landscape, which attracted 5,000 to 35,000 participants, bringing together the communities, NGOs, Assam and Bodo governments for a common cause. We must join together the communities, NGOs, and government to protect this special forest. A military special.
The Golden Langer Conservation Project influenced the formation of 11 community groups to protect the Manas biosphere and other community groups to protect other more isolated forests. Major reforestation has occurred with an increase in Golden Langers from 1500 in 1999 to 5580 Golden Langers in 2009. As of 2010, 13 community groups protect the complete geographic range of the Golden Langer, including the Manas Biosphere Reserve, which is inhabited by many species, including Asian elephants, three species of hornbill, several other primate species, such as the Cap Langer and the Assamese macaque, variety of other vertebrates and invertebrates and many other species. Community conservation is one major solution we have to protect the forest and wildlife and local livelihoods. Communities are the solution. नट खट शाम सताए मोरी चुनरी लिपटी जाए मैं का करूं हाय हाय का करूं हाय राम हाय हाय भोर भई पन घट पे मोहे नट खट शाम सताए भोर भई पन घट पे कोई सखी सहेली नहीं संग में 